want to cover on this video is I want to be able to, to show you how to set up a reel. It's uh, the way I'm going to set it up. You could use it for cave diving and wreck diving. Uh, some days I go cave diving and wreck diving. I don't have to be changing uh, my equipment all around. I'm going to start out with a primary reel. And I just have basic OMS reel. I have the line coming out. And I pull out maybe about half a meter out. I have a plastic uh, ball on the end. Uh, I don't want to use nothing like a, a bolt or nothing like that, nothing heavy negative, but I want something that's uh, not going to really sink. It'll have neutral buoyancy. I'm going to pull it out. Is what I want to do is I want to put a loop on the end of the line. The loop has got to be big enough to be able to fit the reel through so I can see that the reel will go through that. I'm just basically just going to tie a knot here. Like that. Tie a knot into it right there. Snug it up or it's not going to come out. Then at the other end, the ball, I don't like it to, to slide up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a knot in the end so the ball is not going to slide. So basically, this is what I have right here when I reel it in. Okay, the line's not going to feed through there. If, it, uh, if you don't have a ball and your line goes through there, you spend a good five minutes underwater trying to untangle your line. You can see that the loop's big enough to fit the reel through when I want to do a tie-out. So the reel fit right through the loop, right through there. I see a lot of people, what they do is they'll put a clip on the end here. Uh, I don't like to do it that way. I would prefer to do it this way. The reason why is when you go to do a tie-off, let's say you're outside of a cave and you're wrecking you do a tie-off and you had a clip on the end, it's very possible that that uh, clip could, or the line would be able to slip out of that clip and you would be reeling the line in instead of reeling yourself out of the, the overhead environment. So there you go. That is how you would want to set up your primary reel for wreck or cave diving. Uh, for the lift bag, like I said, uh, I put a clip on the very end of the lift bag. This way I can take my primary uh, reel when I'm deploying a lift bag, I can clip the line on to here. What I would actually probably do, when I go to deploy it, I do that, I can pull the line out, I can put the line through the clip like this once, twice, just to help secure it, then I could be able to deploy the lift bag just like this. So there you go.